Welcome to another episode of Sober Gaming Darkest Hour. Now, this episode is going to be just a little bit different. It's not going to be a review episode. This is going to be a simple analysis episode because this year marks the fifth anniversary of PT. Now, uh, PT was actually a free downloadable demo released, of course, five years ago, uh, 2014 for uh, PS4 and the demo many people didn't know it but if you beat the demo which it was also known for being extremely difficult but if you actually managed to beat the demo or you just saw somebody on YouTube beat it it was it turned out to be a teaser trailer for Silent Hills which was a new upcoming Silent Hill game being created by Hideo Kojima and uh, Guillermo del Toro was also involved I can't exactly remember what he was involved with in exactly, but he was also he was involved with the project, and it was essentially said that it was supposed to come out in 2016. If that was the case, if that would have been the case, my goodness, dude, that'd be awesome. But essentially, what ended up happening was shortly after. I think it was in between, maybe after the release of Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. I believe this is around the time when they decided to actually cancel it. And this broke a lot of people's hearts. Like, I mean, it broke a lot of people people's hearts. And almost more than that, that time at the Game Awards when Kojima was not allowed to accept this award. Which, if you haven't seen that clip, if you haven't seen it, I'll put the clip right about now. Thank you very much, uh, Keeper, for accepting that award. And uh, as you noticed, uh, Hideo Kojima is not here with us uh, tonight. And I want to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, Mr. Kojima had every intention of uh, being with us tonight. Uh, but unfortunately, he was uh, informed by a lawyer representing Konami uh, just recently that... Uh, he would uh, not be allowed to uh, travel to uh, tonight's awards ceremony to uh, accept um, any awards. It's, uh, he's still under an employment contract and it's, uh, it's disappointing and it's, it's inconceivable to me that a, an artist like Hideo would not be allowed to come here and celebrate with his peers and uh, his fellow uh, teammates uh, such an incredible game as Metal Gear Solid V. But that's the situation we're in. Uh, Hideo uh, is in Tokyo right now watching the show. Um, so we want, want you to know, Hideo, that we're thinking of you. And um, we miss you. We hope to see you at the Game Awards 2016. PT is a big milestone for this year, and you might be asking, why is this on Darkest Hour? Darkest Hour is for games that are, you know, bad, or we're in the public's eyes, dude, it's bad. Or, you know, aren't, the, aren't these supposed to be just games that have come out? And not trailers or teasers or anything like that or just in general just projects that have been released not cancelled well the thing about Darkest Hour is we include everything at least it's, if it's game related for the most part if it's bad enough I might include a film or an anime but nothing's that bad that I see but this is for anything that like for example cancel projects if these are games that truly didn't need to be cancelled and were cancelled for really ridiculous reasons, it deserves a spot on that show and, and the limelight of saying that it deserves a second chance. It really deserves to come back and I personally believe that about PT because the game, it came out as only a portable teaser. That's what it, stand, that's what it stood for, portable teaser and a lot of people loved it. So much so that when when Konami was starting to take when they took the the demo down from the PlayStation Store, many people kept it on their PlayStations for as long as possible, for years in fact. And they they started to sell them. They started to sell the PlayStations on eBay. And through this, people were able to make or get a chance to rather play the game through buying it on somebody else's PlayStation, or essentially just selling the whole PlayStation. And after a while, Konami did realize this, and they decided to 
I don't know exactly what they did, but from what I've heard and seen through articles, I believe, from off the top of my memory, they actually, like, updated it to where you can't play it. And basically, they just stopped all playability of it, even if you have it downloaded. It, it, you can't play it anymore. So, that was another slap in the face, and that was recent. Uh, I think it was as recent as, I believe... Don't, don't quote me on this, but I personally believe, I think it was six, seven months ago. Maybe less than that, I believe. But it definitely was recent when they decided to do that. But, uh, but yeah. PT is a pretty big milestone for gaming, and it would have been a really big milestone for Konami, because after Downpour, and of course after Castlevania not doing so great with uh, I believe they're called Lord of the Shadows, but uh, those didn't do so great, and Metal Gear was really their last chance, and firing Kojima was probably a big mistake that they made. Not big, not a big mistake for Kojima, because he he came back with a new company and everything, which was Kojima Productions for uh, Sony, and he's making Death Stranding. But yeah, um, by the way, if this episode seemed a little bit strange as far as me speaking and there being a lot of pauses. This, this 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 episode was considered like a mini sode or a discussion episode because these episodes I'll put I'll put the name in the description as far as what these episodes will be truly but these episodes there's no script there's not a whole lot of wacky editing it's just simply discussion you get the real me uh, I, I show you guys what it really what I really feel instead of just a bunch of editing goofiness uh, but, yeah, this is something new I'm trying, so, um, uh, hope you guys stay safe, and enjoy your Halloween. 